So in last ship request video, you guys wanted to see Plymouth. That is a ship that I really haven't played before ever. So I'm kind of curious to see how this goes. It is a steel ship, kind of expensive. And I typically haven't recommended it since it's just kind of a worse-ish Minotaur. Although you do gain the smoke and radar combo where Minotaur does have to choose. Um, but you don't, we don't have the reload, right, of a Minotaur, even though we do gain a few guns. So I don't know, it always felt like a weird ship to me, especially to spend so much on. But this is ship request, so let me know in the comments down below what ship you want to see next. Check out if anybody has already commented that and then upvote it. So then whatever is the highest upvoted comment, that's what we'll play next time. And this one was Plymouth. I am very curious to see how this goes. This might go very, very poorly for me. As for the build, as we can see here, I've kind of just tried to make a reasonable looking build. Again, I haven't played the ship before, so this might be totally off and I might change it later on, but this is what we're starting with. Um, I'll let you guys know if I do end up changing it, but here we go with the Plymouth. Damn, bro, these uh, angles are so bad. Well, we should at least get this Chongmu. Stealth, it's not quite a stealth radar, but I mean, it's pretty powerful still. Nice. All right, one DD gone. Feels good. Let's do a little open water here as we go over to A. Not too worried about uh, anyone other than the uh, Satsuma at the moment. Against aggled targets, of course, it, uh, we do struggle. Oh, but we get a bit of damage here and there. Pop our smoke, step on the cap. Patience, patience. Make sure we're covered by the smoke completely. <laughs> Don't want to get dev struck out here real quick. One advantage, I suppose, of having a slower fire rate is that it's harder for people to do, to like shoot you in your smoke. Of course, we still want to be moving around all the time anyway. And we'll go for the Satsuma now. Just a little more broadside. Close game for sure, yeah. Yeah, not, not the closest, certainly. I'll say it's pretty broadside. And yeah, we'll get some damage. We've got a lot of hits. Might not be aiming quite right. A lot of shatters still. Maybe I'm aiming too low or I'm hitting just the wrong parts of the ship. Although that looked like it was too high. Kind of want the upper belts, right? Not bad damage. Not bad. We destroyed an enemy battleship. All right. Not a particularly close first game, but that's the first one. All right, now we should be able to just farm over this island. Once the Freddy gets spotted again, that kind of thing. Should be reasonable. Back turret only for a bit. Enemy 
Broadside Freddy, probably want to be aiming for a superstructure. Let's see if we can do some serious damage here. Okay, missed a lot there. Yeah, I have to lead way more than I think. There we go, 4k. Yes, okay. Damage, feeling pretty good. Try and get some damage in on the DD too. Now on, it's gonna be tough. Although, maybe not. Maybe Balwan's fine if we hit the right spot. <laughs> we just gotta watch for the Freddy to come through here. That's the spooky part. Try and finish Harbin off. Nice. All right, we got the Harbin. Might finish off the Holland here. Nice. Get the double strike in. Let's go. We got two of them. I guess that's a nice thing about this ship. <laughs> we can switch targets relatively quickly. Let's see, is Freddy pushing? If he pushes, we want to torp that, certainly. Just come back a little bit to our team. And then maybe uh, smoke up again and farm the Mecklenburg or something like that. Especially if he turns a little bit. Bow on, it's a little harder. Here seems fine. Lennon's coming back. So that's good. Smoke generator activated. Yeah, and he's giving us an angle. Very good. Ooh, a DD. Well, let's finish that off, too. Stopping? Couldn't quite tell. CV's coming by. Try and get the DD. Switch back to Mecklenburg. I think team's probably got it. Yeah, let's go. Good job, team. Kind of getting gifted a Mecklenburg here, broadside. Superstructure hits. That's what we're going for. Because I don't think I can pen his upper belt. If this was like an American battleship, for example, upper belt would be the way to go here. 6k damage. Pretty good salvo. Got to move in our smoke because you know he wants to shoot us. <laughs> 7k? Damn. All right. Pretty good. All right. Don't quite get that one. Oh, I'm going to roll out of my smoke, aren't I? I hope not. Yeah, I am. Okay, let's go. That's just a mistake by me. I should have waited in there for maybe spotting on the Freddy or something. Or maybe it's better to just leave. We don't know where the, the breast is. Okay, there he is. We could be getting charged by the Freddy. So may as well just leave. Send some torps here-ish. We never want to be exposing our broadside if we're going to shoot in the open. 
um, to the majority of the team. That's why I'm going to just turn this way. If I had started opening up on the Freddy while I was flat broadside to Richelieu and Brest, that's not a great idea, typically. You can do some open water stuff. Yeah, so I think the Brest shot us right away. Yep. There's some overmatch here, but we have a smoke in nine seconds, so I think we're doing all right. Oh, okay. He's just dead. Nice. This guy didn't shoot at me. Yeah, this thing's pretty good, honestly. I am enjoying it so far. The smoke plus radar is kind of nice, honestly. I thought I am enjoying it a lot more than I thought. Minotaur always having to choose between that extra bit of battle impact you get from the radar or just the safety of a smoke. I miss the reload though. So far, definitely miss the reload. But hey, we're up to 111k. Got a couple of crucial kills in this one. And honestly, we were on the weak side. Like not a lot of action happened on the B flank here. Seems like our team went all, all C. Little weak versus Bowon, certainly. <laughs> but hey, we're getting some chip damage here and there. Oof. Those AP bombs? I think those were AP bombs. Yeah. Just gotta hit the superstructure. If I could aim a little better. There we go. Someone else gets it. Feeling good. Yeah, it's a very interesting ship, honestly. Much more interesting than I thought it would be. Oh yeah, we got a double strike in this one. That's right. Top score. Not a huge damage game, but I'll take it. Smoke generator activated. Nine full pens? Holy crap, that poor guy. <laughs> it's possible. I, I won't say it's like guaranteed, but it's possible uh, to answer your question about stream snipers or something that this CV is. Um, <laughs> possible. I'm surprised we don't have too much to shoot at here. Oh, hello. Still have Hydra up, so we should be all right. Oh yeah, 6K, let's go. Oh, can I aim please? DD? Oh, that comes torps, yeah. Wait, can I fit between? Oh, I get him. Right at the end. Got that clutch shot. Like a first blood, sure. Seems like it was a torpedo reload boost. Yugamo? So there could be even another. I kind of want to help finish off the Musashi here. I know the Alsace is broadside, but... Okay, they got him. Maybe I shouldn't have. Oh, radar. It's Petro? Yeah, so it runs out really quick. Okay, this guy's really quick. <laughs> Got to lead so far ahead for this guy. Still getting decent damage.
Oh yeah, 4.6. Honestly, this ship is so much better than I thought it was. I refrained from giving it a rating because I just hadn't played it. I just assumed it was like a really bad Minotaur. Like just worse in every way. And it is in a lot of ways, but it's still a really good ship. Ouch. Didn't really want to eat that salvo. It's hard to get a lot of damage, like in a game like this, where the enemy team just kind of runs away and there's carriers. But that's kind of true of most ships that don't have like 20 kilometers of range and can comfortably play open water. And to be honest, I don't really blame these guys for running. Like we have a DD and we had a sub here as well. So, you know, I'd probably be running away too. It's just kind of how the developers have built the game. It's just kind of a uh, incentivized to not take these engagements because you just have no hope of winning. So then it's just like, okay, I guess I'll run away and try and farm a bit of damage. Kind of how it goes. So yeah, I, I see, see it more as like a development problem because the player base is always just going to do whatever ends up being optimal for fun and, you know, battle impact for XP and credit reward. So it's up to the developer to design a game where the optimal way to play makes it also a fun game. So I see it as a developmental issue, mostly. Chungwoo having fun. Technically, it's possible we lose this game. Actually, very possible. It's actually very likely we lose. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not gonna commit to this now. No shot, no shot, bro. Torpedoes are stern. <laughs> All right, let's run away and accept victory. Let's not push our luck. <laughs> uh, how silly. I can't believe we're close to losing the game. <laughs> That's so funny. Above kilometer radar, I'll be in the be within range soon. Yeah, twelve seven. Enemy cruiser Yeah, we got him. Let's go. It's too bad our CV wasn't going after B. That area. I need intelligence data. There we Direct front. 
Torpedoes direct front. Torpedoes to starboard. Problem solved, sir. We spotted an enemy submarine. Can you die, please? Critically damaged. This guy doesn't have torps in the back, right? Yeah. Torpedoes dead ahead. Enemy submarine sunk. Torpedoes to port. Okay. We are indeed alive. Somehow. Alrighty, we win. <laughs> oh man, that's so funny. Team way over committed into this enemy spawn. Good thing I pay, played it passive after. Weird games today, but hey. Decent base XP, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what happened that game, but hey, we won. Okay, Stalin stopping. Still don't want to be playing within Stalin range. Radar range, that is. So we lost half our HP to do 12k to a DD. Normally that's worth it, but we did 12k to a Regolo. Which is basically nothing, because that ship is so useless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that might be a little mean, but that ship is so bad, man. Like, like if I was trading that HP for, like, the Harugamo, okay, maybe. Maybe I'm a little more okay with that. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Regulo. Shimatorp should force him to turn here. I can't believe this guy is able to bow, like charge me bow on like this. Like he should be broadside to most of the team. But I guess we just don't have a team left. Feels bad.
All right, like the massive downside of having no uh, HE here. <laughs> All right, we got him finally. Team did at least. I guess unless he's like right here, just barely following. Because that's a possibility. Oh, it could have been, yep. Fair enough. Weird game, but hey, it's close. I'll take it. It's at least close, even if it seems like it shouldn't be. Um. Slava's dead. No, nah, I don't play subs. Subs and carriers are really, really boring to me. It's funny, I hate playing against them so much, and yet I hate playing them. It's a weird, weird thing. Shimmer's basically dead. Please die. Thank you. All right. Okay. Um. There's Shima lit. Apparently, a Shima was lit. Now we go. No, the Yoshi died. Tough. Yeah, force him to turn. Come on.
I get him with Torp. Let's go. Enemy cruiser sunk. I don't have smoke though. I can't make another play. Damn. In hey, it was close though. We we tried. We tried. I'll take a close game over the blowouts. Oh, he underled. Might be slowing down into this. Ah, he got me. Too bad. Oh, wait. Do I clutch up last salvo? Oh, close. Close one. Kind of. So after those games, I'm actually pretty happy with how the Plymouth is. It's actually a surprisingly good ship. Reasonably fun to play too. Um, this build seemed to work just fine and really the radar plus smoke combo I knew it was strong, but yeah, it's very strong. The ship is very good at dealing with DDs even though it doesn't have HE I mean you're going to force the DD to turn at some point, especially if you're able to create off angles with your teammates um, It's really solid and against broadsides the AP is surprisingly good. I'm a little bit missing the DPM of the Minotaur, but hey, for that smoke radar combo, it's pretty good. Honestly, it feels a little bit like a Fiji at tier 10, um, where you have that kind of salvo fire kind of thing. It's more of an alpha E thing rather than the Minotaur's just hold mouse one, spam out so many salvos. It's almost like this Fiji kind of ship at tier 10, but you gain the radar yet on top of that. So it's a pretty powerful ship. I don't know if I'd recommend it for steals, pretty expensive for what you're getting. Um, it's reasonably unique, but the big problem here is that I just think it's not terribly powerful. So, and then the fun side of things, something like the Austin has like that infinite reload booster gimmick, which is extremely fun. Uh, Plymouth seems more focused on winning games, winning cap control and doing that very well, but maybe that can be a little bit boring, a little too optimized maybe, I don't know. I'm still fresh on the thoughts with Plymouth. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, thank you very much for watching and recommending and picking that I play this ship. It's a ship I've never played before. This is what this series is great for. Playing ships that I rarely, if ever do, and maybe finding out that they're actually not too bad. So again, comment down below what you want to see next. Upvote if somebody's already commented it. And that's what we're going to see in the next video. So thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.